everyone, I have another flip through for you today, another request um, to have a look through my completed Lost Ocean book with, with some commentary. So this was completed a long time ago, you can see there's some, uh, you can see how dog-eared the cover is, but um, I have got a new version, so I think can't say completely reliably. I'm just going to come out a little bit so we're in short. I think that um, the videos I've made for Lost Ocean aren't from this version but we will find out as we go. So we start with our title page which is rather fun and we have our fish and they're all really random mixed up colours which is really interesting. Not something that I would do now so uh, but I think they look bright and cheery didn't colour this one, which is interesting. I remember finding it quite difficult to colour on here. What I do nowadays is I put another Johanna Basford book here and lean on that and that helps. But anyway, here's my um, book belongs to page, which is uh, looks rather nice. Now this page I didn't colour. Um, my son coloured this page, most of it. I'm just looking to see if there's any that I... No, he did the whole of that. So my son coloured that, so that's fun. It's really cute, it's lovely. But the outside, I didn't do the outside because he did that bit, it's his page. Whereas I did do this page, I think. I'm gonna sneeze, oh. sorry, I sneezed and it's gone now. <laughs> so this is a fun page. It's interesting how I've done so much yellow and I've used pen. This is done with, um, Highliners. That's why the brown is so dark. Although I think that's done in pencil. How interesting. These bits, some of it looks like it's pencil and some pen. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, suddenly going really dark. Anyway, this is a rather bright, you know, I a background on this one and it's quite nice and even which is nice and everything's very bright so it works really well sometimes with the although the blue doesn't show up very well so I think this was in days where I didn't do my background first or plan my background first so I didn't think about how these blues would probably be better off if they'd been a little bit darker or maybe not blue at all but that's fine this one was one that I was really pleased with. So not only did I draw in this um, circular background, I did it by hand. Um, I don't like the idea of using a pair of compasses because you have to make a hole. So I drew it by hand, but we've got this sort of guide and I didn't think it mattered if it was a bit gnarly because it's wood. And uh, so draw this sort of double circle and then sort of like wood for the outside. So that was fun. And I wanted it to look like a porthole so I thought almost, yeah, so I did that as if it was light showing through. But a porthole looks underwater, doesn't it? But anyway, it doesn't matter. I did that, so I was really pleased with that. And actually looking at that, I'm still really pleased with it. So that's rather good. Now, some of these really complex pictures, I didn't know how to colour at all. So this one, I've just used a purple um, fineliner and drawn over the top of the um, Johanna's drawing. That's all I've done there. So that's quite interesting. And this one, all I've done is I've used a black pen in the sort of lines and used a darkish grey in the background and then a very light grey for some of the details. Interesting, that's not how I would do it now at all. Now this one, I remember finding it quite tricky, big old background and I'm not sure that I picked my colours very well because these don't really stand out against that background. I think the background almost pulls forward. Now what I do try to do with my backgrounds is make them look like they're in the background rather than being a feature of the picture. It's not always easy to do that. But I've got some really nice colour combos here going sort of red to yellow to green, things like that. So that's rather fun. And I think I've, yeah, I've used quite a limited colour palette. Um, which is nice. Now this little guy, I remember being really daunted and I can see that from the way I've coloured. Not only is the background quite messy, um, he's 
not really an inspiring looking colour is he? He's done with the sort of lemon green, lemon yellow and this outside, mm, not really, but this one, I remember um, it was for a colouring event um, in um, I think, yeah, an inky obsession colouring group that I'm still in actually on Facebook and um, you had to do something really colourful like rainbow so I did this sort of rainbow fish and even put that colour into the background with some pastels so that was rather fun again oh I I know what happened there I think I think I dripped a bit of coffee I know it doesn't look like I don't drink blue coffee and the blue colour from underneath has come through the page but basically this is like that other one that was purple but I've just used a black pen and gone over it all in black I was just found it too daunting because it was so small so that was how I decided to approach it I think this blue might have come through because this is pen this is a blue pen I think oh I don't know I think that's blue pen with pencil on top hmm now I've done this lobster design on a planner page as a video but this one looks so different I like these bright bits compared to the sort of different colour of the lobster that's quite fun now crabs um, I have done them in a few different colours here but the background is basically yellow pen I think and then I've gone around each crab in a slightly darker yellow pencil and there are dots a few dots of orange and brown it might be difficult for you to see and gold there are some gold dots there as well to look a bit like sand. Now I've done a similar version of this um, in the planner, I want to say. Or it might be in my new version of the book. can't remember, which you may have seen, I'm not sure. Ah uh, yeah, now this page for me is quite daunting. There's so many fish, what do you do with them? So I decided that the easiest way was just to do each fish in one colour. Actually it's really quick if you do it like that. So that's what I decided to do. I don't, I'm trying to see whether I did the same fish the same colour, but I didn't because that fish there is the same as that one and they're in different colours. So I just grabbed the colours and went for it. And obviously I've done quite well in making it quite random, um, which is uh, not always that easy. And here's another one gone over with fine liner. So that's really interesting. And that is so fine, so small. So it's a really interesting way to do it. Now these two I think are a favourite of a lot of people and I have done them in, there's a planner page I think from last year that I've done them. Um, but this version, not 100% not keen on it to be honest. A little bit boring I think, but you know, that's my opinion. Now we have our ship. I remember this one, I did it for my dad for his for a birthday card. So I coloured it in and then I scanned it and shrunk it and printed it out as a card because obviously it's way too big for a birthday card and I didn't want to tear the page out of my book and um, the sky was quite adventurous for me you can see I've put different colours in it and made it sort of diagonal that's really interesting because I always now do my skies this way but doing it that way is quite interesting hmm. I think I did a base of blue and then put some other colours on top so that's that one and this one I just split four ways and did different primary colours in each quadrant. So that was just a bit different really. And I've done the um, teeth in gold. The, this bit in silver and this bit in the sort of copper or bronze, whatever it is in the, in the polys. Now this one I remember it was a disaster. Um, the sea is a really murky colour. And I put layer after layer after layer of colour and it just looked worse and worse and worse. <laughs> I think maybe it should have been blue. But anyway, um, I've done this bit, I think, on a uh, in a planner page. There's a shipwreck. Um, it's called Shipwreck and it looks a lot better than that, I have to say. I was also quite frightened by the eel because I don't like snakes. So it looks like a snake. But um, I tried to make him look really jolly and friendly, but I don't know if I succeeded. So the jellyfish are quite plain and simple, um, just a different colour for each one, which was rather fun and didn't take too long to do. 
So uh, that's those. Um, I think I may have done one of those um, on a planner page since. I also traced one of them and put it onto some black paper and tried colouring it in white. It was really hard. <laughs> I didn't think about the fact that when you're colouring on dark paper, you have to almost completely reverse your brain in how you use your colours. It's hard. Anyway, this one, yes, um, very tricky. And I did a background on it as well. And each repeating one is the same colour. I don't know how I'll tackle that when I do it again. It's such a tricky one. Now this one was a favourite of my son, so I felt really, we had a lot of pressure to do it really well. Not sure I like the colour of the water. It doesn't really fit with the rest. But in fact, I don't know if I'd do that as water because it's not really like they're swimming in a pond. It's sort of just a random shape. So I don't know. I do it quite differently next this time. And this one, um, this one I've done um, from the planner or from this book, the my new version of this book as well. It's quite a nice one. Now here, I tried to make my fish look like jewels. I had a lot of fun with this. I used a jewel um, gemstone tutorial and uh, and that's quite fun. And these are really bright. I like that one. That's good. Now see this one. We've got unmatching. I, it doesn't sit easy with me. This has got blue pen with then pencil in. This one's got silver pencil and the background they're so different but neither of them look particularly nice <laughs> oops let's turn over now this was my very first pastel background i can feel the fixative on the pages so much now the the sharks themselves are colored in different hardnesses of graphite pencil okay and that was a lot of fun this shark is supposed to be white, but he just never stayed white. The pencil smudged, the pastel smudged. It's just, a, he just ended up a bit messy, but he still looks quite pale and nice. So I had a lot of fun with those. Um, so it's, but I didn't do it as a double, as you can see. So that's just a pastel. It's a bit messy, the pastel, but you can get away with it because it's seawater. This one, however, is obviously done with pencil and I told her I can't draw, and you're like, well, there's drawing. Well, these are traced, so I traced this off a different page, and this, and the fish. This bit, yes, I drew that wibbly line, that bit of sun, and they did these with the ruler. It isn't brilliant, but I really like it, because it's just like my first attempt at doing a little bit of a background, you know? Now, these sharks, um, I've just done as a series. Um, they look really different, no background. Um, so uh, um, they're on my channel so uh, that's interesting but if you fancy doing something a bit different if you didn't follow my uh, my um, my series then there's a few ideas for you uh -huh. and I've done these um, items they're on a planner page what's interesting about this is the flag here is coloured in black pen that's why it really jumps off the page but nothing else is pen I wouldn't recommend doing that because they just are so much darker than all the rest. The um, anchor is coloured in really nicely, I think, um, but you could hardly see it because this is so dark. And also the goblets are looking rather good. The, I remember colouring no shells using a tutorial as well um, from Helen Elliston. She's got one for how to do these sort of to, to, sort of um, uh, what's the word like mother of pearl, um, and they look nice. They're not don't really look like mother of pearl but and these they look good so uh, that's that's quite a nice page this one again I was thinking porthole I did this as if it looked like a wooden frame that was the idea and this like a stained glass window type idea so uh, that's how I did that one now we I have a, a, a series for doing Mr Octopus from the other book um, I did in pink <laughs> It looked quite different to this one and the treasure is a little bit more sophisticated the wood is as well but he looks quite fun and uh, you see how I cheated by reducing the size of the background which I may have done that on my other one as well I can't 
on the now this one I've tried a bit harder with my sand I've got dark, more colored dots in pen and just all the shells are just a sort of random set of colors really now I also I have a um yeah this one in my new book I have a video for um this it's a bit better than this version but it's a rather nice uh, rather nice spread I think and it's quite fun because it's not too daunting because you don't have to fill in that space you can just do that bit and it pops off the page with the white background oh yeah I remember these two I had a lot of fun so I decided to do them like opposites so we've obviously got the yellows for our starfish and then the background here in reverse and it was fun and uh, yeah and uh, the backgrounds don't look too bad you know uh, it's good fun oh we've got another one with pen uh, this is an interesting idea i have done these in my new book um looking really different to how they look on this page um really bright with dark backgrounds and things like that so uh, yeah this is so different and it's good fun to see something a bit different so we just have some very brightly colored fish again trying to make them look a bit like gemstones uh, I'm not sure how well that came off but they still look lovely fun and brightly colored now these were quite scary um because they look like a snakes i had to try not to look at their faces too much what i did is if you can don't know how well it shows up oh it does look um is there's metallic pen um on the edges of each one to make them look a bit more shiny so that was fun and they're done in pen now i had fun doing different mixtures of colors i started with this tower here and uh, used the sort of reds to yellows which was fun and then blues and things and pinks this one is a sort of watermelon type idea um this one was didn't really work the orange to blue um we've got a blue a green to pink we've got purple to green that one worked better yellow and green and red and blue so I was trying different combinations of colors the background is a little bit iffy but it's okay <laughs> now this page um, Johanna released as a download so if you like it and you haven't got Lost Ocean you can actually download it from her website and it was a competition and I think it might have been to win a copy of the book or something I entered it I've colored it about four times and entered multiple times coloring it in really different ways this version isn't really that good actually compared to some of the others that I entered but um, I called it House of the Sea Bunny I've got no idea why <laughs> anyway because I've saved the file or the picture and that's what I called it no idea anyway we've got this one that's quite a simple looking symmetrical wreath design but I kept quite a limited color palette on that one now this one was interesting, again, too detailed for me, split it into four, didn't have a, yellow doesn't really show up, so use a slightly orangey colour, and then this one looks like a biro, it isn't, it's a fine liner, and uh, did those do, we could do it in a biro though, be different, wouldn't it? Now this page up, this one I really like, um, it's, I find it a good design to practice a background on because it isn't too big and too daunting. It's a little bit, but not too much. So I had fun with that one. It looks like Ergosoft, I reckon. Yeah, now here I always struggle to know what to do with the coral. So I did it in sort of pinky coral colours. These um, ones I put a bit of shine on to try and make them look like shiny gemstone-y type things going on. So here again we have another pen version. I'm going to be really interested going doing these again because I won't do them with pen. This page I really like um, Johanna's um, drawing and doing it in just blues I think it's really pretty. Um, my colouring isn't excellent but I just think it gives a lovely calming impact so that was fun. This one not so fond of. Not sure why I thought doing black and I don't know what was going on in my head. I think these would look better in metallics, but maybe I couldn't do metallics then. I don't know. And we've got a little um, lamp there, which I haven't coloured. I guess I forgot. 
Now this one I have just done. Um, this is really interesting. Orange and yellow and purple dolphin. The colours go really, really nicely together. I really like it. Really interesting. Such different sorts of colours. I don't do that anymore. Look at these rainbow leaves. But I've done a much more um, tame version, should we say, of this with all green leaves and things um, for a sort of Valentine's themed picture. So you may have seen that already on my channel. Um, now this whale was another one that Johanna released um, as a download. Um, I saw some amazing versions of this. This has got a lot of dirt on it from pencil from over there. But um, this one I thought was quite fun because I just did it black and then did bright colours. It's just a bit different. I've done lots of versions of it. Now I had great fun with the mermaid's um, tail. I have got a video of her, how to colour her, but I know that um, YouTube demonetised it and I think it's because she looks like um, her, she's got a lot of bare skin which isn't really allowed on YouTube but obviously she's a cartoon and uh, she's okay. Um, so I had to say to them, um, can you um, re-monetize my video because it doesn't break your rules and they did eventually look at it and go, no, fair enough. But I remember having a lot of fun trying to make the tail a mixture of different colours. That's good. Now this one, yeah, it's just lots of colours. It's a really nice one. I've seen, um, I think Color Bright Bex has done a beautiful version of this. I'm pretty sure it's her. But uh, I I think I may have done that one again. Maybe, I don't know if it's in a planner or in, I don't know. So this one, I remember I did it and it was a disaster. So I had to rescue it. What I did was, I've got a pencil, I haven't got it in here to show you, but basically the lead, it's a really thick pencil and the lead is split in four and it's yellow, blue, green and yellow. So if you look at this, you can see that that's what it's like. And I coloured the whole of this just in that pencil and it looked absolutely awful. So I put this black in and then this um, metallic pen in here and it just made it look very much better. It's still not um, excellent, but it looks a lot better than it did. <laughs> Believe me. This is quite a daunting page. I'm really surprised I didn't do my pen trick on this one, <laughs> but I persevered and used pencils. So uh, that one. I've seen that with a black background. No, I've done it with a black background in the planner. So I've got a little bit of it filmed with the black background. It looks, I think it stands out better when you use lots of bright colors. This is a nice, easy page. I think I've got a bit of this on video because I had a bit of it on a on a calendar page um, on the daily planner page there's a lot of dirt on this page from this side it's come across but that's okay now here we have a bit of a rainbow going on so we're going yellow to orange to red pink purple blue green back to brown gray yellow so we're just working through I think that's Ergosov's that's quite an interesting idea now our two fish hmm so this is yellow and pink. Really interesting. It's just not... I think I put tried to put the yellow in as if it's a shine. Not quite working, but I think it's interesting. And we've got yellow and blue on this one. Ah yes, our neons. So this is done in pencil. Um, these are actually normal Ergosoft pencils. They're not neon pencils but I picked out the colours that are neon so it's number 50 green one of the yellows the brightest yellow and orange and things like that and they just look neon this page is done in pen <laughs> I picked out the same colours in the pens because I've got the fine liners and I picked out the same ones in the fine liners to do so that was interesting Oh, our last picture. Oh, this one's nice. So we've got a lot of white pen work on the tail and the, the hair slides basically on the whole mermaid, which is fun. And on the flowers, the, the colour scheme is really pretty, I think. 
it's rather fun. Now this was in the days before a colour palette test page so I've been testing some that's trying to blend a pencil which just didn't want to work um, so this is the sort of answers to finding the lost items as well and here we have the pull out page oh it's loose let's have a look so oh, I'm gonna have to sort of slide it across for you so this is the one side so no background because it's so big and daunting so it has some really lovely bright red floors there all the fish are blue interestingly there's a lot of green going on all the corals pink so there's that side and then on the back it's a much more detail oh we've got gold so we've got gold silver and black oh that's interesting it's quite that's quite pretty isn't it so there we go so there is the um lost ocean book for you so uh, as i say i have done this flip through before but now um hopefully me telling you a little bit about it um made it a little bit fun so thank you for watching um i hope that was um okay for you um have a lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>